What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories, Rick James and it's the Chappelle's show. It's been a while since you checked out a Chappelle show. It's been ages actually. They're definitely sometimes controversial, definitely yeah. sometimes on that line. So if you're not a fan of the content, please click off it and go. On one of our other videos, because maybe in an hour or so we'll have another video out, or maybe an hour ago we had another video out, or yeah. yesterday's video. There's so much, there's definitely a video yeah. for you. Smash that like button guys, smash that subscribe button. We've enjoyed Chappelle's shows, haven't we? We have, and am I right in saying this is going on Patreon first? This should be on Patreon first. Um, we don't actually know, because what we do is, with these videos, because Chappelle's show normally gets a, a copyright block, not even a claim, a block, so YouTube can't see it. We then appeal that, and in the, in the time when we appeal that, we put it on Patreon, so maybe three, four days it takes sometimes for it to be mm -hmm. released. If this doesn't get released, then YouTube's never seen it. It's only on Patreon. But if you are seeing it on YouTube, check out Patreon because you potentially see videos like this three, four days early. And if it doesn't make it onto YouTube, it's on Patreon. Yeah. So hopefully Patreon will enjoy this video. Smash the like button on Patreon as well. And um, are you ready? I'm ready. Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories, Rick James, Chappelle Show. What we got? Let's go. I was Rick James today, you know what I'm saying? And he comes out the room and I look at him and I'm not bullshitting, man. I seem like like an orange, his aura or whatever, I, I seen it. He's orange. <laughs> he started kicking me, and he was mad niggerish, man, which was, you know, right up my alley. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. One of the best singers, one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. Hold my drink, bitch. He walked up to any chick licking the whole side of their face, man. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> yourself. <laughs> we got closer, started hanging out. My brother didn't do any of this shit. So at night, when Eddie would break out, we would all be doing the, getting crazy and wild. And if I was hanging with Rick, he, he had this thing with me where he used to always like fuck with me, man. I don't, I don't know what what started it. But, you know, he was hanging out with the big dogs. You know, you know, Charlie didn't know he was doing crazy things, and I had to straighten him out. Sometimes I had to go upside his head. Things like escalated to the point where, you know, my man got too familiar, and I ended up having to whip his ass, man, you know, because, you know, he would step across the line. Habitually, he's a habitual line stepper. First time, you know, I, I had to end up whipping his ass. Uh, we went to Studio 54. We walking up into the VIP section, and, um, I'm looking around to see who's there, <laughs> who's the girls and everything. And all of a sudden, I heard something go, Charlie Murphy! <laughs> <laughs> that was cold blood. <laughs> he had this ring on to commemorate this song he had put out called Unity. And this was a this and this was imprinted in that black head of his <laughs> for at least a week. Oh my face. Unity. Eddie and everybody else thought that that was the funniest shit. And so that threw me in a weird space, because I'm like, yeah, this is Rick James. He's a star. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> it's a celebration, bitch. <laughs> maybe I'm overreacting. I actually went there. Like, I, maybe I shouldn't do nothing. But my ghetto side was going, yo, stomp this motherfucker out right here. <laughs> The fuck is wrong with him? I'm just on wine and I'm just getting started, bitches. <laughs> he totally just wrote me off. Like, I'm that nigga to steal on. You know what I'm saying? What, what? What, he gonna smack me back? I'm Rick James. He's Charlie Murphy. I waited, because I knew what, what hotel he was staying in. Eddie and then went home, and I said, y'all be right back. I shot over to the hotel. Went up to his room, knocked on the door. So, security! The one in the front, he had crooked eyes and shit. The one eye was looking at me, and the other one was looking at Rick. And Rick had edged over by the, the window. Now, darkness, the tables are turned. Do with him whatever you like. Motherfuckers take one more step. I'm kicking this nigga out the motherfucking window. Come in, freeze! You know you was wrong for what you did to me earlier. Look what you <laughs> did to my bad. face. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tyler Murphy. It was an accident. I was having too much fun. I'll offer you a truce. The stickiest of the icky. You want to smoke with the old boy, Rick James? Yo, man, my forehead is bumping, man. Now that you mention it, I think I'm bleeding inside my chest. <laughs> but I got the medicine. Bitch, come over here and have sex with Charlie Murphy. I'm Rick James, bitch. Oh my that was how that particular incident ended. 
but it wasn't the last time I had to whip his ass, whip his ass, whip his ass. Don't you think Charlie's a little old to be taking karate? You probably taking it with the little kids. It's the Studio 54 thing, you know, that, that blew over, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but then, you know, here we go again. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Rick is encouraging me, you know, he shows up at my brother's house, fucked up. Nice place, Mecco. <laughs> So this is so <laughs> random. So, I honestly don't know where we are half the time. No, I don't. All it's over It's the funny, place. but... Funny. Brutal. So, so random. So random, so brutal. So it's like, what? <laughs> let us know if you're enjoying it. Or if it's, uh, there's probably a lot of references we don't actually know in the comments below, but let us know. Dirty cowboy boots on. <laughs> Pushing us out of the way, barged in the house. My brother had these brand new couches. They were suede, right? And he gets on the couch and says, why don't I stretch out? <laughs> and just started grinding mud all this couch, man. Yeah, I remember grinding my feet in Eddie's couch. You remember why you did it? Because Eddie could buy another one. <laughs> Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> buy another one, you wow. rich motherfucker. Fuck your couch, nigga. Fuck your couch. Darknesses, darknesses. Of course, my, my complexion used to call me darkness. He calls me and my brother darkness. He calls us darkness brothers. See, this is long before Wesley Snipes. Back then, we was the blackest niggas on the planet, according to this book. Eddie both of them brother doctors. Twin brother doctors. And we stand there looking at him. He's looking right in our eyes as he grinds his mud. <laughs> See, I never just did things just to do them. Come on, I mean, what am I gonna do? Just, just all of a sudden just jump up and grind my feet on somebody's couch like it's like it's, you know, something to do. Come on, I got a little more sense than that. Yeah, I remember grinding my feet on Eddie's couch. <laughs> I never just did things just to do them. Come on, I mean, what am I gonna do? Just, just all of a sudden just jump up and grind my feet on somebody's couch like it's like it's, you know, something to do. Come on, I got a little more sense than that. Yeah, I remember grinding my feet on somebody's couch. Yeah. And then it was like, you know what? Let's handle this. We went over there. You like? Hey, Charlie, my baby. And we held him down. And we just wailed on his legs. Ah! Ah, you darkness, you black. Evil motherfucker, black magic, darkness, raw darkness, you yeah. fucking delirious motherfucker. Ah. You were cold as ice. But still, Rick James, even after taking a beating like that, fuck your couch, nigga. This motherfucker's <laughs> going out. His legs is like, like linguine. I've been kicked out of better homes than this. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <Black> <laughs> Wide nose having motherfuckers. <laughs> they said he never gave you niggas money. You don't know how to appreciate it. You know you get another coat. What am I gonna do by my legs? <laughs> my brother, you know, he's a he's a lot more compassionate than I am. He's looking and Lemon's driving off. He said, wow man, Rick really needs help. I was like, yo, we just gave him some help. Bust his fucking ass and shit. I bet you he won't come over here and disrespect like that again. True. Wrong. Oh. Wrong. <laughs> I'm talking about Rick James, man. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> don't, don't do cocaine. Don't do any. Actually, you know what? Don't do any drug. No. No, no. Not even that specific one. Don't do any drugs, guys. That was just so random. It was so random, but it was funny. Yeah, I wonder if that actually is a true Hollywood story. I've got no clue. Um... Wow. Funny, random. I still don't know where we are. Don't know where we are. Don't know what we've just watched, to be honest. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did or not, yeah. but it was funny. I don't know. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic and day. And we'll see you legends in the next one. Peace.